Okay. I got my chalky milk. Let's do this. Now pay attention to this campaign exotia because the first one was Earth and this is exotia and I thought, oh, like I didn't pay attention basically. And I was like, oh, okay, that must mean it's on the same planet. It's a completely different planet. That's why everything's completely fucking different. It like completely fucked me up. I was like, this is Earth? This is Earth, right? Earth? How, where's all the hell shit gone? How come the UAC can drill for fucking Argent Energy and it's the year 2147 or something, but these guys have got medieval shit going on, what's that about? And I realize they're actually just another race, humanoid kind of race. Maybe a different colony, something like that. It was, it's pretty nice, I fucked that up. I don't know how I fucked something so simple up, but I fucked it up. Hey man, I wasn't expecting like Mirror's Edge shit, <laughs> you know? Look, a green wolf. Feels like the game front loads a lot of stuff on you and it's just like, yo dog, did you know? <laughs> like, see the, did you see the guy on the left? Just got launched. It just confused me because they're demons here. There's red barrels here. So why is everything medieval? I don't get it. It's like, I think it's a different planet entirely or a different colony. Really pretty though, you can see it. Really pretty. <laughs> I'm too busy speeding around though, like a little go-kart. I'm sorry, I am drinking chocolate milk. Um. Yeah, they introduce these guys at this place and they fucking Naruto run at you. I'm not even joking. They run at you with their like hands down. It's like, really? I guess if you're a big winged fanged creature, it would be the fastest way. Look at that. Look at that shit. I can't take that seriously. <laughs> They're annoying and they do a good job at being another fodder enemy. So you got the zombie, you got the imp, small humanoid style fodder enemies, the soldiers here, and then you've got these guys as well. So it's like a lot of foot soldiers. A lot of enemies in this game. You notice the zombies also have this weird crown thing going on now, where it's like it's covering their eyes. Boom. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this guy. Hell Knights, man. This time he has a t-shirt or something. <laughs> He's wearing something. Not all of them do. So, spoilers for a tooltip I see later in this playthrough. Uh, maybe. Uh, if I haven't edited it out. But, um, if you're playing online and other players die to a certain enemy, it's kind of like the haters in uh, Let It Die. They actually get more powered up if they've killed other enemies and they become empowered demons, which just make your life even fucking harder because some guy died to them before. So I'm just making anyone who's like on my friends list probably just get fucked because I just die from virtually everything. And it's... This is a power up. Blood punch. You get a load of cool power ups from this place, so you're like, okay, this is like Power Up Island, I guess. So you can see it play out there. It's pretty sick. Blood punch. I know who you are. <laughs> Reference for people who remember Metalocalypse. I rewatched them recently. Did you know that that never had a definitive ending? It really fucked me. I didn't know. I went in blind. I got to the final episode, which is a huge hour long rock opera, and they just go. Oh yeah, there's no ending to this. Adult Swim cancelled it. 
and then they tried to crowdfund it coming back and out and adult swim was like no fuck you and then didn't really give a reason why they really didn't want metalocalypse to come back i was doing some research last night like but but why what happens at the end and they're like there is no ending and the creators are like eh looks like you got fucked <laughs> it's just like oh Yay, I will never have closure on what happened to the band and how they beat the final guy because they were literally, it's like, you know, the last thing that they talk about. And this is me, like, you can just watch me for a good five minutes dolphining at this thing, like, oh, I can't reach. Flapping at it like some seal. Trying to work out a basic thing, like, wait, what? And realizing that actually, like I do this a lot in Doom, I go back looking for secrets where there aren't secrets, and then I just fucking waste time getting zapped by shit that I don't need to because I that was way too long, <laughs> and like um, yeah, I end up um realizing that the secret was hard progress, and if I just gone forward, it would have been fine. Then you get zapped again then, so like if I just went, oh, you know, just press this. Runes. This this is a rune. This crucifix looking motherfucker is a rune. And they got some really cool ones, and I browse through them just to so that people can see them. I like this one. I end up taking it. It's pretty handy for someone like me. This is also handy. A lot of them are handy. These like the runes are actually pretty good. Like air control, slow down time whilst you're in the air. I kind of wish I'd taken that one now, because you do a lot of jumping in this level. Enemies killed by equipment under the influence of crit increase reach and uh, killed by blood charge to shockwave drop health. They seem to drop health anyway, although it might just be because I'm always at low health because I'm a fucking idiot. You see, I'm like, huh, I just don't know what to pick. Uh, just pick this one, which is probably like the least exciting, but whatever. So far, not really feeling all like very metal, very satanic. Seems like there's a lot of church shit going on in my fucking doom. I'm not happy. <laughs> Where am I seeing that? Yeah, so I was trying to get up here and I could have just done that, so that was fucking... Makes you think it's a secret, but it's like, well, you got to go up here, really. Or not. And they have these big barrels. Actually, you have to go down, but like, I was like, so focused on going up that I started to convince myself it was progress. I was like, actually down there, <laughs> like, you know, no fall damage in this game, it seems, but, like, uh, I wouldn't, uh, I didn't try it here, you <laughs> see my uh, speed gets increased there, and there's a secret here, the little arachnotron Little, little figurine. <clears throat> so they're pretty good. They're fun little things to collect. These little, uh, and you can collect vinyls, but somehow I managed to miss the vinyls, so you don't see it in this playthrough. But you can collect vinyls. You can collect action figures. It's pretty neat, actually. Oh, this guy is getting spicy. There we go, oh, and then I fuck up the, yeah. Got too excited with the explosives. I just get hit by every single one of these because I'm just like, hub Genius. Genius. I don't really like environment stuff. Uh. You know, the, the invincibility, or no, the super health orb is back to what it was like in the classic Dooms. Did I do it? Yeah, I got it. 
it turns these off for some reason. If you look at the bottom right corner, it tells you what's charged and how much ammo you have, but also tells you like if your uh, equipment's ready to fire. It was very small on my TV screen. So um, didn't really use that very much, but it does make a little indicator noise as well. Yeah. It's pretty fun. Smashy smashy. Kind of jittery with my uh, aim here. <laughs> and I just take unnecessary hits trying to do stupid shit. I don't like, I can't, I'm flailing this saw around trying to get it at the guy. And yeah, I just need better control over where I'm looking. <laughs> um, that will come with time, I think. Getting really good at timing that as well. You see, it didn't even have time to change to the indicator color before I was glory killing him. Yeah. Still like those. Cacodemons are awesome. I want to get a tattoo of the Cacodemus sprite art, but I show my friends and they're like, oh, that looks kind of ugly. And it's like, but it's, it's so cool and it's red. And like, none of my tattoos are red. All my tattoos are like blue and most of them were monochrome for a while. Then someone convinced me and now I have a blue one and an orange one and all this shit. So, I'm like, oh, you know, I'm doing the hardcore punk style of the left arm. So it's all like lots of little flashes of. I like this thing, and I like this thing, and I like this thing. So it's explaining weapon points here. Like each mission has ten weapon points total. You get weapon points. It's like the original game, and it ups your like. It's the same, basically, but they're just slightly different upgrades. And you have the mastery, which is like get all the upgrades, then do a thing. When you've done a thing, cool shit happen. Everyone is impressed. But yeah, like, on my left arm, I'm trying to do, like, a uh, composite sleeve where it's, like, little traditional pieces I like. Like, you know, just, like, little bits. Like, maybe get a little blackwork snake somewhere and, you know, just, like, maybe get the, a tarot card somewhere. And then, like, get, like, um, uh, like, there's a little cacodemon somewhere. You know, like, just up the arm and build it. Down my right arm is just already a big ass dragon tattoo so the only thing I could really do is extend it to my forearm and have another dragon or like have another like Japanese traditional thing down the forearm so I have two sleeves one is like looks like one continuous piece the other is like a deliberate build up of lots of little different things <sighs> so yeah I kind of spin around a lot here look 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 there's nothing here Oh, do I go here? Oh, look, it looks like a secret. Let's go try and find it. Oh, it's shut. Okay. I look at this and I go, oh, looks pretty far. How do I, why can't I reach the law? And then I go look at the key item like, is that a secret? And it's not a secret. I just don't know what it is. <laughs> I managed to miss the barrel there. This is helping me learn like, how fucking shit I am. I'm like, <laughs> so he's doing that. Ooh. Yeah, I keep forgetting which button is the cling on to thing button and I keep trying to chainsaw the wall. But there's some later problems where the game doesn't give me the trigger to climb on the wall. I'm literally facing the wall and punching it. And it's like I'm skyrimming up the side of the wall, just punching it. And I'm just like, oh, <laughs> don't make me feel this way, man. Weird reference, but the, this spinning fan thing reminds me of the spinning uh, electrified walls in uh, the Crash Bandicoot levels where you're swimming underwater because they have, they had those <laughs> I like look at the map and go oh look there's another branch there's gotta be a secret there and I end up wasting everyone's time by seeing that there's absolutely fucking nothing 
then nearly get squished because I'm a fucking idiot. So yeah, just you know, go around again. <laughs> uh, but you know, like when you're exploring for secrets on your first run, you do tend to do a lot of downtime shit where you're just like going around going, oh yeah, well, oh, you know, I wonder if there's something here and I wonder if there's a crack in the wall there and you know, I better check it out, like, because, you know, as I walk by a free secret, and then I can feel like a big man for finding all the secrets. Because that's really important. Everyone needs to see my secret dick. Looks like we're going to have to jump! Mm hmm. I see there's a lore page here as well. History of the Sentinels. Then that goes up. And you can see there's a little man down there, so it's another power up. I do like that they give you a lot more stuff and they're very like open about it. They're like, look, you have new maneuverability options, because you know, Doom 2016 didn't have as much of that. But you know, I don't think the game suffered for it by any means. I wasn't sitting there going, damn, I wish I had, like, air dashes and shit. But now that I have them, I'm like, cool, air dashes. And if you dash at a wall, it just auto-clicks you to the wall so you don't have to deal with punching the wall a hundred times. There's actually a extra life I ignored there, but I regret that later. <laughs> Look. Torches come on on their own. It's around this time where I'm like, wait a minute, this isn't Earth. This feels like Bloodborne Planet or Dark Souls Planet. What the hell? Every guy you meet, man. It's like, what are you doing? Stop trying to help. You're not helping. God, Doom Guy is small. What the fuck? Also, how is he just like? able to do that. Never knew his super could just unblock this. So is Doom Guy actually human or is he one of these guys? Are they human? I'm confused. It would explain why he's so beastly. So King Novik is the guy who says at the beginning, rip and tear until it is done. This is King Novik, and he's now saying, hey, don't rip and tear until it is done. And it's like, I don't, wow. Well, they're no longer your people to save. So it's like, um, mixed messages here, dude. Look how cool he looks, though. Doomguy looks fucking cool. If you didn't notice. Look, more law. King Nobik. Well, I think all my answers will be in the law, because in the first game, well, the 2016 game, they did a lot of, um, you know, explanation uh, in the law saying, oh, you didn't know who the Night Sentinels were, or you didn't know who this is, well, there you go, collect the, like, codex, and you'll be able to work it out. This is the first of many rooms where most of the floor is, like, lava, except it's electric. But you know what I mean. You can't touch, you can only touch certain places, and it's like, there's a guy following you and getting in your face, this guy. I think I take my first death to him, spoilers. It's just a pain in the fucking ass, because it's like, oh, I don't know where I can platform to, and I'm not confident of running and gunning quite yet, and it's like, this guy is just like, look at him, he thinks he's so good. Doesn't help that I'm using the shotgun, I'm just waiting for him to come up and like, oh yeah, I'll just like, shoot him from here. See, I can get in the hang of swinging back and forth and doing shit like that, but it's just... And this guy shows up and I'm like, oh, fuck you. And then I'm trying to concentrate on him. And then again, tanked by this guy. And I never knew the Hell Knights until this game actually had eyes. Because in the first game, it didn't really show them off. 
<clears throat> now they're kind of glowy eyes hidden in there somewhere. Dead. Accidentally blood punched. Because I was trying to hit that guy and he staggered off screen. See, it's pretty dicey at this point. I do a lot of uh, stupid moves. I should have just been running and gunning. And I stand in the lava. Oh, yeah, it extra likes me. These guys are faster. Like, they're pretty fast. Like, oh, I thought he was dead. Because <laughs> he did that kind of... You, know, you see he was doing a flailing punch and it looked like he was just like... You caught him mid-thing and he's like... Uh, and I was just like, oh, okay, he's dead. And then he just pops up and I'm like, fuck. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, hey, that's back where I went. And then this happened. I was like, oh no, you won't get all of your online rewards. Sign in for your dailies. And I'm like, yes, every video game has to have fucking dailies nowadays, doesn't it? Ugh. Are you impressed by my dailies? It's like, dude, I'll play the game when I want to play the game, okay? Chill the fuck out. Maybe the sound is uh, it telling you your dashes of a uh, return, not your equipment. Oh yeah, this is a weird trigger. I jumped at it like a spaz. I was like, <laughs> and it just hit a solid wall, and I was like, okay, I didn't jump into the teleport, what the hell? The Revenant's back now, it reintroduces it, you can shoot their little rocket launchers off, look. Uh, yeah, and then I had to walk back for that teleport for it to hit the trigger where it sucks me into the teleporter, and it's just like, so you would never thought that like a player would ever consider jumping out the large gaping teleport void and fuck it up a little bit? So you decided I missed my thing because I didn't cautiously walk towards the portal we've already established moves me to the next area. Seems like that could have just been a little bit of like a sort of low level bug problem or like something that they should change a little bit. Not really like something that breaks the game, it's just fucking annoying. Because it makes me go, here I come portal, bang, oh I'm a fucking idiot. Then you go, you have to take two steps back and it kind of ruins the momentum of the game. I'm coming for you demon, dong. Oh, wait, 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 oh, there we go, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, snapped his neck like the bitch, then got eaten, got eaten, like a poorly grammaticized bitch. Stop it, Keiko, I'm your friend. Oh, wouldn't it be cool if you could play as one of them in, like, a game, just as a mini game, not as a whole game? These Naruto running goblins, though, can just fuck off. Invading Area 51 with that bullshit. Yeah, no legs for you, boy. Power wave. Oh, they're, they're throwing their, like, phlegm at me. No legs for you. Punched. He's gone. I'm referring to them entirely as Naruto goblins from now on. I was like, oh. There's like dead people there. <laughs> you can see that like there's a secret down here, and I completely space on how to get the secret for like the next. Yeah, <laughs> it's like where? How do I get it? I don't get it. And it's probably like something really obvious, like there's a crack in the floor or something. And I was just like, but it's not in a wall, so I, oh, I literally walked by a crack in the wall there. If you wind back the tape, it was on the right. Fuck. <laughs> Still getting used to that. Still getting used to that. It's it's neat. Oh no, maybe it wasn't a crack in the wall. Maybe it's set dressing. Now that I look at it. Yeah. So there's this up here. That's handy. Then you go over there, there's some health, and that's handy. Although I don't need it right now. Feels like there's a big play area, and I'm too busy shooting the guys from a relatively stationary position, which is not what you're supposed to be doing. <laughs> and just go, fuck, fuck, get rid of them. Just stay on the safe ground, fuck, fuck, because this game sometimes does punish you a little bit for 
going out of the wrong place. You know what I mean? Where you're just like, I don't run around and run and gun. And it's, oh, why is everything lava? Everything is lava. And you're just like, oh, you know, could have been like, I know what I've got to do, but I felt like there would be a trigger, you know? Like, I thought I had the thing already to plug in, but I didn't because I picked up that blue thing. I thought that was what I was supposed to plug in. That's why I'm like, wait, why do I have to wait until they tell me? Let's go into the Ribena. This is the most bullshit thing ever because these guys decide to pop up out of nowhere and you're just like, oh, cheap jump scare. Except it's just an annoying health tax where you're just like, oh, you didn't react fast enough? Oh, you thought I was dead? I'm just going to keep being a pain in the fucking ass. Way to create the most annoying game, annoying enemy in the game. Ugh. And you're like, why? Why? Hey, guys. Do you like pointless tentacles that just get cheap hits in? And yeah, they're predictable, but it's like you can't get out of their range. See, you get distracted by something like, Haha, surprise, and you're like, fuck you. <laughs> like, I don't feel scared. I just feel cheated. <laughs> like, you know. It's one of these, you see, I'm just kind of like, uh, sorry, sir. And there's a new thing. So I go for the plasma rifle, which I think I barely used in the first room. Microwave beam's a little bit weird. I thought it would be something different to what it is. It just holds people in place, so it's kind of like a stun bomb, but it holds you in place too and does standard damage to them as it chains through them. It's like chain lightning. I think chain lightning. I go back for this and then I have to deal with this Rabino goop again. Gonna have to say the tentacles and the you can't move in the goop goop not really like, don't know what they were thinking with that. It's like, oh, you know what? You would like a game, a part of the game where you've been, yeah, no, fuck this up there. A game where you're forced to, part of the game where you're forced to just walk really slowly through goop. It's like, not really. Could have done anything else really and I probably would have preferred it. I hate slow goop. Never slow goop me. I'm slow enough as it is. See, I picked up something that looked like this before, and I was just like, everything to me looks like a blue tech core after a while. I have played a lot of video games, so I'm just like, oh, I picked something up, and then you can see the secrets there, and I'm like, ha, hu, hu, hu. and then I kind of look at later, and it's like got like a hole in the floor, and I'm like, it's, 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 it's like, I feel like I have to move that block I kept jumping on, but I couldn't work out how to move it, because it needs to be like the green, you have to push the green button. You can't just punch it, you have to punch the green bit. And for some reason that fucked me up for a long time. I'm like, hey, and it's like, I feel like it's probably like just punch the green side of that block and it would have been fine, but... Because you can see the hole there. Ah, oh, it's watching it back and commentating. See, like, it's got to be like... Look, it's, it's, got the, it's got the symbol, it's got the sigil, but it's not green. So I'm like, it's not moving. I don't get it. So I just kind of move on. It's annoying. They got one of those old school penance cages down there where you put people to get starved and murdered by crows if they annoy you slightly. As that's, I'm pretty sure, how the East India Trading Company would call it back in the old days. You are annoying me slightly. <sighs> you are opposing our horrible capitalist and slave inducing ways. Get in the cage. <laughs> like, and the holes again, leaving people around, like, more the killer interior design. I love to see house, good housekeeping magazine for these kind of places. This area is quiet, and it seems a bit boring and just rocky. Put some impaled dudes there. Is this staircase too dull? Put some random spikes on it. That is good housekeeping. That is a good housekeeping. I mean, technically, is Doom Guy just like the best interior designer in the world in this universe? Because when you look at what he's doing, he's essentially going around and adding to the decor that's already there. Like, there's loads of dead bodies around, and he, then there's some other demons around going, oh, we're going to get in your face, and he's just like, fine, I'll just add to the decor. <laughs> 
Let's go stab some dudes. Man, playing, watching this is just making me want to record another LP. But I've got to wait for these to upload so I can fill up my fucking hard drive again because I have a tiny hard drive on this laptop. And I'm like recording fairly HD stuff here. Although the, it's not the best quality on my MacBook Air. The resolution's not that great. I got it super cheap. I didn't really want to go back to Mac. But like I don't have I didn't have a lot of money at the time. I just needed something to do my work documents and my novels on, so And I'm like, oh fuck, where did the ground go? Because I came up the wrong side. I go around. A lot of pentagrams. Straight up pentagrams in this one. They're just like, hey, you know we had those ornate glyph shit all over the fucking place and like real crazy shit in Doom 2016. How about we just go for a simple pentagram? Hey guys, what's that on your coffee table? Pentagram. What's that on your door? Pentagram. Your toilet seat? Pentagram. <laughs> This is pretty metal though, look. This is like the front cover of a Dio album, holy shit. <coughs> yeah, it's um... I say that like I don't have a pentagram on my coffee table right now, but like, <laughs> you know what I mean? I literally do. <laughs> oh, these fucks. I try and use a microwave beam on him and I'm really like, wait, it's, it takes a while to come out and I'm like, it's not working. And I had, I'm like a child, it didn't work straight away. No. My super soak is broken, you gotta fill it with water. No. <laughs> Pump it out with air. No. <laughs> if they won't walk into my bullets, what's the fucking point? <laughs> That's me. Um. Yeah, so I get like mobbed here pretty hard because I'm like, wait, what? Everything's orange and trying to kill me. It's like that time I was in Ibiza. Yeah, and I'm like, oh, why does everything that's like need three fuel? Why do I never have free fuel? And where do I see the fuel in this one? Like, actually, that's a good question. Like, in the original, I knew where to look to find the chainsaw fuel. And like, it's all so small on my screen that I'm a bit like, how do we know where the fuel is? Am I blind? Tell me I'm blind. When I pick up some gas, I'll have a look, see where it puts me. Yeah, I tried to use it there and it just basically meant that I got my health deleted. So I'm just like, okay, I'll try that at a better time. Right now is not good, I assume. Labbing, not good time now. Oh, I jumped on the Naruto guy's face. Uh, yeah, it's a lot of like, get this guy, oh. I don't know where that, uh, huh? I don't know where that went. It just said insufficient fuel again. It said plus some gas, and I'm like, yeah, but where, where on the HUD does it say? I jumped into the lava. Don't jump into the lava. Yeah, that's, that's basically all they deserve. Punch to the face. Oh, and then you see there's a caco now. There's this guy. Dumb thing, as a kid I always used to think they were called Keiko demons. And I was like, <laughs> Keiko demon. And then someone was like, no, it's Kako demon. Like, it's actually named after an actual demon. Which I was like, oh. It's really hard to tell though when everything else is just called dumb bullshit. <laughs> like, you know. Zambi and Doom Guy and whatever I felt like calling it. They originally didn't have names, they were just taken off of the like data files that people found and at the end of Doom 2 it just tells you this is called Pinky. This is called Imp. Otherwise you just didn't know. If you never beat the game, you didn't really know. Or you just looked it up online. Oh, the thing at the bottom is telling me, like, if my blood fuels uh, work, 
working or not. It's just that the side filters kind of tell me that as well, you know. Or is it telling me the blood punch is ready? Oh no, it's telling me blood fueled. That little rune at the bottom center. I'm still learning the herd. Honestly, something's blinking at me on the bottom left there, and I'm like, I have no fucking clue what that is. Oh, it was my blood punch, okay. We're learning, we're learning what the HUD means. Because a lot of symbols... Oh, and the other one's dash, okay, I'm getting it, I'm getting it. It's just, it's not very clear at first, because I'm looking at it like... Wait, what? These arachno things. Go away, spider brain. You're not wanted here. Look at this Modoc piece of shit. Go away. Do I die to this guy? I might die to this guy because I'm not very good. Eh. I nearly had him. If I'd just been faster then, I wouldn't have wasted a life. These guys again. Bye bye. I like the double slash he does on them. Look at all the shit. There's something purple. What the am the purple? I don't actually know. Did I find out what that was? I hope I did now. So as I've drawn everyone's attention to it, and I have no idea what the fuck it is. So, yeah. So you can see they kind of retro did the plasma rifle here. It doesn't look like the plasma rifle in 3 and 2016. It looks more like the classic rifle, where it was a big square black block of a retro sci-fi, like 80s sci-fi grunge with blue lights. So that's just a pew 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 pew. It's very like of the era and I like that they actually did it back to the old school gun because it looks pretty cool now whereas before it was just like a little, I don't know, like the Mitsubishi Lancer evolution of guns where it's all very tech looking but very plasticky at the same time and now it's back to like it's 90s era skyline look of just look it's a box but it goes fast. <laughs> I wonder if anyone else gets that dumbass reference. <laughs> like, you know, you know what I mean? Look at the ping things behind me now. And I'm like, wait, what? It's up there. I don't get it. And I'm like, oh, lava. And like, this red filter is pretty heavy, actually. When you're low health, it's kind of distracting, and you're like, um, okay. <laughs> like, I don't know what I'm looking at. And it's like, oh, a dash refill. Um,. Okay, progress it is, and then I fuck up. <laughs> yeah! I'm actually pretty bad at this kind of shit, and I'm like, I don't really... Get, like, I'm wasting health on this, like, and it just spawned in, and this is, yeah. I can start really spazzing out these uh, climbing sections, and I'm like, I don't get it, and I don't think ahead of time, I just jump and go, shit, I don't know what I'm doing halfway in the air. So is it like the entire solar system that has this problem or the entire galaxy has doom problems now? It's not just Earth apparently. Apparently this Exaltia place has it too and it doesn't look very much like Earth but it does look like it could be on Earth and it's like, is this all taking place on Earth? Is Exaltia a district of Earth or is it a separate planet? Remember in the first game, he actually like, abseiled from like Mars onto one of Mars's moons, like Phobos or Deimos, and he was literally like, back in those days, they didn't really understand that you can't just just because something's orbiting near the planet doesn't mean you can just abseil down to it. That's not how gravity works in space. But I was just like, that's amazing. The idea of being to being able, and there was a little picture of him doing it in the in the original Doom, <coughs> of him abseiling onto the other. Uh, Onto the from Mars to onto the moon, and I was just like, this is fucking dumb. <laughs> but I love it. 
really caps encapsulates this 80s sci-fi cyberpunk grunge kind of era where everyone was just like, hey, if I'm badass enough, I can do this. So you see, I look at the purple and I go, fuck it, I just dash to this, and I take damage, and I'm like, wait, what the fuck, did that gate damage me? And then we'll see later when I checkpoint, because I fuck up this area hard, because I'm like, I want to run and gun. But there's this big thing, and I'm going to set fire to myself now. Yeah, oh, this will save me, and then I set fire to myself anyway. I then tank, like, a whole health bar of damage, because I'm like, wait, what? Everything's hitting me. I can't stay in the same spot on a Doom game. Oh, there's a thing flowing above me. Oh, he's just killed me. Less violent deaths this time. You just fall down. I haven't been glory killed yet, and I die a lot later on in the game and I haven't been glory killed myself you know like back in the old one you get like unique fucking punishing murder animations and you'd be like wait what that's crazy and then it suddenly has a connecting problem and it some, for some reason decides to halt me actually going back into the game for a while because it's like I can't connect to Bethesda.net and it's like do you need to to allow me to play the single player campaign and we wait a full, like, two, three minutes for it to realize. And it's like, I hate games that do this. We don't need to be in your overlay the whole time to play a basic game that's got no online feature or, like, a minimal online feature. Dirt 4 does this, where it's straight up, if it can't connect to race.net and you've just finished doing a cup, it will just sit there on sometimes and bug out on the um, screen. What hit me was this, and there's like several of them, and they're fucking annoying. <laughs> yeah, like, um, Dirt 4 does it, and it means you straight up have to reboot your console, and you lose progress, because it will just stay there forever loading if it can't connect. And if you live in China, and you're playing Dirt 4, and you're trying to make progress, sometimes you'll be doing a really punishing challenge where you're racing, and it will just go... Oh, well, looks like that didn't count because we can't upload your details to RaceNet. And you're like, this guy just sweeps me. And they see like tentacles. This is what fucks me off with these tentacles. They sweep you backwards into like hazards and shit. That's a cool kill. And <clears throat> when you get behind them, you slice them in half. It's pretty cool. Slice these the other way. I managed to mess up hitting zombies, and then this guy's a problem, and I'm using the wrong gun. I should have just shot a grenade in his mouth, but whatever. You see, they have a lot of, like, model damage that's pretty neat. Uh, yeah. I love that demons in every video game come with magical door blocking technology where they can just steal every door behind a red wall. It's awesome. That seems like the most useful thing, to be honest. Nope, you can't go anywhere. Not until you've killed me. Imagine that skill in real life, because most people be like, well, I don't want to kill you. This is what I'm talking about. Sometimes it doesn't matter if you kill these guys. Sometimes it does. This is one of those times, as you see there. You didn't kill that one guy, though, and it's like, yes, but in Earth, in the Earth mission, it didn't matter. So that's really mixed signals you're giving me there. Killing the zombies, does it matter or does it not matter? That was me attempting to use the zap. It kind of worked. I don't know how much damage it did, but the guy seemed to go down faster, so... <clears throat> made him back off as well, so obviously the AI was like, shit, he's doing a lot of damage. Dead. Ah, he fell down. Okay. That was pretty lame death, to be honest. Uh, so yeah, look, so it's big caves, skulls on a stick. Very, very chic of you this thing and I'm like wait how do I use it and then I go oh yeah block pushing but it takes me a good five seconds because those handily arranged spear arrangement there stops you from using that you see there's this cool mech and like the fact that there's cool mechs here and they had big fights and they were taken over by the demons and shit makes me think this might be earth 2 or maybe the demons just got real far in between 2016 and now so 
I guess if it's real time, they did have four years to expand. I don't need those. I just went around here again for no reason, thinking it was a new place, and it's not. And I'm like, can I climb this? I don't get it. And I'm like, can I, is it this? Am I just being stupid? But the, the spears stop me, and then I'm like, oh, um, oh, why is it not, uh, see? And it's sometimes a little bit like, I didn't punch it squarely, so it didn't like it, and you're just like, um, oh yeah, and then I see what I'm supposed to do as I'm in the air, because I don't observe properly, so there we go. There's the thingy, doesn't let you move. While you look at it, hmm, that is indeed a blue canister of some kind. It's got scream energy in it or something. I don't care. It's a progression item. I'm just going to plug it into something. This reminds me actually of the Genosha levels in Deadpool game because they had a load of dead mechs, dead sentinels everywhere, and you have to plug them in to make them open progression blockers and stuff. Is that where they got the idea? <laughs> a really weird place to take it from. But you know, Deadpool's cool, so it's fine. That game was entertaining enough, but I felt like it could have had a little more stuff going on for it. I'm like, oh look, one of these, I need one of these. Oh yeah, cool. And then something hits me and I'm like, for fuck's sake! These, again. They just exist just to troll you. But how are you supposed to know on your first playthrough that they're gonna pop out and whack you? You gotta be on guard all the time. Okay, that's fucking annoying, right? <laughs> you know, you just sat there like, really? You're just gonna fucking like health tax me every time I go down for something shiny. You're just gonna go, haha, peekaboo, smacked in the face, and you're just like, fuck you. I'm kind of on guard for it now, as you can see, and I don't think another one pops out, so it's literally there just in case you fell down to get that thing thinking it would be faster. Fucking tentacles. This guy's like, whoop -a -dup, whoop. <laughs> Don't even know where he was climbing from, to be honest, but um, he tried. This arachno brain's a problem, and I shoot at him from a very long distance away, and about 2% of my bullets hit him. And then I'm like, ah, oh, he's still shooting, I don't understand. Where do I go? Um, why won't he. Why can't I win? Why he no die? No die made me sad. No die, no buy. More lore. And then he's like, sup, I'm going to come in close for some reason. And then go flying off. You notice I just spam micro missiles for him, because I'm just like, what's going to blow him up the fastest? I don't have a rocket launcher. Micro missile time. I don't know what happened there. I kind of got stuck on the chain. Don't even know I'm supposed to be going this way. Yet. <laughs> Swinging a chain. Um, this guy again. Really got to stop throwing their weird gold goo at me. It's, and I have to read the lore on what the fuck that is. They're a new enemy. Do you remember in Doom Three they had this weird mosquito baby clone thing that made creepy baby noises? And I was like, ugh, babies. Yeah, that was a... Glad they didn't bring those back. It was an era where they thought that the most cutting-edge thing would be to make the player shoot baby-like creatures. And I was just like, that had it. House of the Dead Overkill had it. Where I was like, look, zombie babies. This is a Slayer Gate. These are really cool. I love these. I cannot do them when uh, people are when I'm recording. It doesn't even matter if I'm not commentating. I'm just like, eh. it's like a fuck ton of enemies. I'll put the footage up of the first attempt, but I attempted for like a good half hour, oh no, a good 10, 20 minutes of attempts, and fucking hell, with the equipment I have now and the guns I have now and stuff and the points and skills I have. Oh, I just get wrecked by these as well, because I'm like, wait, what? How? I'm stuck on this tiny platform above the lava, and then they knock me off into the lava, and I'm like, great. Cool. Awesome. This feels like, mmm. 
Mmm, let's just clip through the world. Oh, the clip. And he does the little animation he did from 2016, but you're like, is it really still thumbs up Doom Guy? Because the lava vanished. It's not there. Why don't we just get out of the lava? Oh, that was, that, I, I keep coming across these bugs, man, and I'm like, why are you going to play me like this, Bethesda? I love this game. But my version's getting a lot of bugs. I hope there's a little patch later. It's not like game breaking, but it's just like little visual things where you're like, whoa, that didn't need to be there. It really didn't need to be there. Why is it there though? I always turn away from the most dangerous enemy to go, ooh, look, a tiny thing. Let's shoot the tiny thing. Oh, I'm getting shot in the asshole. I can just run away from him. <laughs> it's just like, nib. You. Yeah, shooting his turret would have been a really good idea. It's a shame I'm a bad shot and can't hit anything for Toffee, but like. Yeah. <laughs> Yay. I can video game. There we go, just spam those missiles. Oh, look, I knocked it off now. Oh, and then he got back. You see, he's trying to charge something up though, still. Just didn't fire because the turret's gone. Ooh, I'm like, oh, I, I regret everything. Um, okay, we'll try again. This is the way I think I was supposed to do it the first time, but then I still set fire to myself, and then I'm like, um, grind against those chains. <laughs> oh, look, it's the thing that killed me before because I picked it up, so I'm just going to pick it up and run away this time. And they're like, haha. Because they're kind of slow moving, but like I noticed in this game, everything's got a surprisingly elongated lunge range. The 2016, I don't remember them being able to lunge that far, but like the zombies and the, the cacos, they can really move when they're in your when they're in the pounce range. And they go suddenly from about the distance they were there when I was engaging them to in your face. And you're like, uh uh, because they have a move that kind of when they're trying to bite you and shit, they come forward and they're like, oh, okay, <laughs> you know. Yeah, I'm not dealing with you, bye. I'm just punching him a bit. And I'm like, hey, how come that didn't work? This is, like, painful because my platforming sucks and, uh, Takes me a few times to work out that it's jump, dash, double jump, dash, dash, if you need it. So the refill's there, right? I reached the checkpoint by looking down, so... Uh, that didn't work. So, I did cut <clears throat> my Slayer Challenge attempt because it's, like, just wadded. Uh, building, yeah, look, here's the key. I did cut them from this playthrough, but I'll put them up separate uh, to show you what they look like, so they are fucking rad. They reuse the gore nests for this as well. So, like, you got this big ass key thing, reminds me of something. You see that they're different, it's just a recolor of the gore nest. They reuse the gore nests. 